Today we want to look at the ZAMP Solar System. Now look behind me here, you'll notice the ZAMP Solar Charge Controller. Here we're looking at the Solar Charge Controller. It is a ZS-30A model. It's a 30 amp charge controller. Uh, comes with the Oliver Camper as an option. Uh, now if you look at the front lights here, you'll notice the first one with the red light that just means power's on. Uh, the blue light means it is currently charging. And then you'll see four different battery states. Those battery states can change based on the current battery charge in the battery. Now this button here, or this light here, and the voltage here may not go hand in hand. The 14.6 volts you're seeing is actually because it's in an absorption state. Uh, typically when it's here, it will be in an absorption state and you may see higher voltage than what's actually in the battery. When it's here at a full state, you'll notice it usually about 13.6 volts, pretty much a full battery, and it'll also be in a float charge state. Uh, now bulk charging, you may see that happen in any one of these here. Uh, of course, this one, if you ever see the light here, it means that your true battery voltage is about 11.5 to 12.5 volts. Uh, you definitely want to go ahead and start getting some charge into the batteries because if it falls below that 11 and a half, uh, it'll kick over to this light. Uh, once it does that, you'll start to notice uh, a few 12 volt systems on board acting a little funny. Some will stop working altogether. And then of course your lights will just start to dim uh, more and more as the voltage drops. Let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. The buttons here, you have an amp volt button. Uh, and originally it's showing the voltage, you press it one time, it's gonna show you the current amount of amps that the solar is bringing in and charging into your battery bank. You press it again, it's gonna show you the total amount of amp hours it has pulled in so far for the day. Of course, it's early morning here, so it hasn't had a, a good chance to bring in a whole lot of amp hours quite yet. And of course, you'll start to see that number climb as it gets uh, noon and the sun's fully overhead. Press it once more, you'll see a battery temperature. Now you cannot change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It is just something built into the charge controller itself uh, to look at the battery temp. It's a safety feature. Uh, it is optional, so not every system has it. Uh, you press it again, you'll go back to the voltage. Now I do wanna point out uh, that this solar system is not providing 12 volt power to the camper. It is simply bringing in power and recharging your battery bank. Your batteries are what actually provides that 12 volt uh, power into the camper. Now you'll see one other button here, it's battery type. You shouldn't really ever have to mess with that. Uh, it's already been preset based on the type of batteries we installed for you at the factory. Uh, if you ever do decide to replace your batteries, if you're going back with the same type of battery, there's no need to change it. But if you are changing from an AGM uh, to a wet cell battery or from an AGM to a lithium battery or vice versa, you would actually have to go in here and change this setting so that the solar knows how to properly charge that battery bank. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've learned something about your Oliver Travel Trailer and please be sure to check us out online at olivertraveltrailers.com.